Hi, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download MagicQ onto your Mac and install it. So, first of all, all you have to do is you can type in your Google Camsys or MagicQ and it's going to take you to the website camsyslighting.com. So, you uh, you visit the page and that's what approximately you're gonna see unless of course it's gonna be different slightly so then what you need to do here is following right at the top you have the link to the free MagicQ software download click on it it will take you to the next page where you will be able to see the options you have as this page loaded you will have different options to download so in our case, you've got two choices. You can either install the latest stable for the Mac. So you can choose operating system that you're using. So if you're using Mac, obviously it's a, it's a Mac Intel. If you're running on the latest, um, just recently released uh, Apple MacBook Air or MacBook Pro running on M1 engine, still download that one and install it using the Rosetta 2. If you're using Ubuntu, it's Ubuntu. If you're using the the, uh, the newest MQ50, MQ70 consoles, then you use that link. And obviously for our case, we can use the Mac. If you want to install the latest beta software that has the latest features and also latest bug fixes, then use that. So in my case, I will just use the latest beta. So when you click on it, it will automatically start downloading for me. In your case, it may ask you to create an account on a bug tracker if you haven't done it before. So if you have already done it, then all you have to do is just press the button. So then it started downloading for me. The software has been downloaded and I can see it here in my downloads folder. So MagicQ Mac Intel version 1900 DMG. Now what you have to do is, is double click on it. So when you double click on it, it will create you a new uh, file here and it's going to call magic uh, magic Q Mac Intel and the, the software version so what you have to do is you have to right click on it go to the open with and use the installer when you've done it it will bring you this window say magic Q Intel is from other unidentified developer are you sure and you can press open in some cases you may have uh, an error that says you cannot install it because the, ident the manufacturer has not been identified. So I can press open for now to continue the installation. So as you can see, the installation started and I'll press continue, go, go, uh, continue, okay. And then it will install the software for me. However, in some cases, as I said, if you, uh, if you receive the message that you cannot install the software, this is what you have to do. So you go here, click on the Apple sign, go to the System Preferences. When the System Preferences window is open, you go to the Security and Privacy. Here, in the General, uh, in the General tab, by default, if you just bought a Mac or you haven't changed any settings, you will you will see that Mac is only allowing you to install the apps from the App Store. So what, what I would suggest is change the setting to the App Store and identify developers. And what you may have sometimes is just here, it's going to come up with the name MagicQ uh, install and press yes to confirm. And if you don't know how to change the settings here, you have to press this lock, uh, uh, lock button, type in your system password. It, then it will allow you to change the settings here and as soon as you change the settings to the App Store identify developers or allow from third party if you're using a different operating system that will allow you to actually do the installation in the future much much easier so again if you have seen something like this and it will come up here with a sign that says uh, MagicQ is trying to be installed, confirm, you press confirm and then you will be, uh, you will be meet, uh, you will meet again this window where it says uh, continue to install. So as soon as you install it, you're pretty much ready to go. Then you will launch the MagicQ And MagicQ is going to be installed for you. So in my case, I haven't installed it yet. I'm still running on the older version. But your MagicQ will look like that. And you can start working with this. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.